Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. Lorna Slater is at it again. Yet once more, she's come up with a madcap idea destined to fail. It's so stupid that she'll sit there in a few months time going, why didn't anyone tell me how stupid it was? Well, pay attention, Lorna. It's really, really stupid. She's proposing to punish councils who fail to recycle to a sufficient level. And by punishing council, she obviously means punishing council taxpayers, even if it's not their fault. This is not going to wash. Why would people put up with it? Ultimately, it'll be self-defeating. The people will just simply vote out the Greens. You know, oh, we've got a Green Council. Let's vote them out. Look what they're doing to us. So it's almost as though they don't want to be in power anymore. And also, I would point out that if her ideas were so good, people would be welcoming them and going along with them saying, yes, what an excellent idea. Let's do that. And instead, the ideas are so bad that it has to be enforced by the punishment beatings. It's not the way to run a government, is it? When you have to beat people to get them to do what you want, rather than bring the argument with them and say, look, this is good. Let me show you how good this is. Of course, that can never work with the Greens because they're all so thick that none of their ideas will be accepted because people immediately see through them and go, what a totally ridiculous idea. Like this one. Let's have a look and see how mad this idea is. Here goes. Right, before we get into it, I've got to say that I've had a couple more people say about them being uh, unsubscribed automatically by YouTube. So if you are someone, do check that you're still subscribed. Uh, and I've noticed today a few have come off. And when you go back and look at the videos, there's no unsubscribing from the videos and it's just dropping. So it's an automatic unsubscribe from YouTube. So uh, if you are someone, do go and check that you're still subscribed. And if not, do resubscribe. And if you're yet to subscribe, perhaps today is the day. We're getting very close to 8,000 subscribers. And with your help, we can get over that target. And that'd be a hell of a thing to beat because every subscription makes the voice a bit louder and gets the truth out there. So do please hit the subscribe button and definitely hit the like button as well while your thumbs down there, do them both. Anyway, we'll take a look at this because it is an absolute moronic idea uh, from a very stupid woman. Um, as we've seen with every other idea she's had, it's always destined to fail. So Lorna Slater blasted for threatening councils with the latest madcap green idea, which could lead to fines for Scots. The Scottish Greens Minister has been slapped down by the local authority body, Cosler, over plans to find councils if they fail to meet their recycling targets. That's all she's got. Find people, hurt people, barn, you know, do things to them. Because she can't sit there and say, this is such a good idea, I'm sure everybody will agree with it. Because every time she presents an idea, we all see how damn stupid it is. But then she's a very stupid woman. Lorna Slater has been blasted for threatening councils over her latest madcap green idea, which could lead to fines for struggling Scots households. The round involves her controversial circular economy bill, an idea that came up off the back of a gin fueled nightmare in some local gin palace when she was sitting there talking with all the other idiots of the Greens and going, oh, what can we do now? And they just kept throwing stuff up on the back of envelopes with no real thought. Uh, this has already been torn apart by even those within the Nationalist Coalition for a lack of financial transparency and accurate costings. No one knows. They couldn't provide a costing. And even when they went back and looked at it, they said, we still don't know. And somebody asked them in, the, in, in Hollywood, said, well, what are your plans to find out about the costs? Oh, we don't have any costs, but we know it has to happen. Without costing? Are you mad? Yes. Yes, they are. Anyway, the bill would introduce charges on single-use coffee and teacups, as well as enforcement on recycling household waste. How the hell are you going to uh, enforce this? Councils are cash-strapped now. They can't employ people to go out and look through bins. They can't afford to pay the services they've got. And yet, according to Lorna Slater, this has got to happen now. We've got to employ all these people to go around and look in bins and things. The woman is a moron. Uh, anyway... Uh, those who put rubbish in the wrong bins could face fines, with neighbours encouraged to tell on each other if they see the alleged wrongdoing. Oh yes, because the first thing you think of is, yes, North Korea, that's where we want to live. Are you kidding me? Are you up yourself so far that you think brother speaking on brother, father grassing on son, neighbour against neighbour, do you think that that is going to make for a cohesive society? when neighbours are spying on neighbours and dobbing them in it to the authorities. 
Are you sure that that's truly the direction of travel? For heaven's sake, if you truly want to destroy a society, this is the way to do it. Get your neighbours to grass you up. Oh yeah, because that's great, isn't it? And bangos all sense of community cohesion. The woman is dangerous and stupid beyond belief. Anyway, it's also upset council chiefs who've warned the Scottish Greens Minister to stop threatening them with financial penalties if they fail to meet environmental targets in the bill. Now, these environmental targets aren't anything real. They're just arbitrary numbers plucked from their arse. You have to do this, you have to do this. What's it based on? Well, we thought of a nice number. And that's literally it. It doesn't make any bit of difference. Anyway, local authority body Cosler's Economy and Environmental Spokesperson Gail McGregor has written to the Net Zero Energy and Transport Committee to outline their concerns about the legislation, with Miss Slater appearing in front of them on Tuesday morning. She claimed that the plans were threatening councils with financial penalties and labelled the move very unfair. She wrote, we want the threat of penalties for councils removed from the bill. Section 13 of the bill proposes imposing a liability on a local authority to pay a penalty to Scottish ministers if a target is not achieved. They are desperate for money, aren't they? Anyway, this is not in tune with the co-production or the Verity House Agreement and we've asked the Scottish Government to remove references to penalties from the bill. You see, you can't sit there, make, a, make an agreement and then break it because Lorna Slater has a bright idea. And I use the word bright entirely incorrectly, you understand. She's as thick as champ. Uh, she added, given that this framework, this is a framework bill and there is significant un uh, uncertainty over future funding, we consider threatening councils with financial penalties is very unfair. We also cannot be convinced that taking away money from councils that may already be struggling is a good way of delivering improvement in services. McGregor also hit out at the financial aspects of the bill, saying the memorandum is not capturing the full cost to local government and that enforcement costs are certainly underestimated and as above, we cannot gauge the costs arising from a future yet undefined code of practice. Gov local governments, councils and whatever, do not have enough money. As it stands, they can barely and in some cases can't deliver what they need to do. And now they're expected to hire people to go around and inspect bins. Who's paying for this? Who is going to pay for this? And then they're saying, again, as I mentioned, let getting your neighbours to dob you in it. You'll have a complete breakdown of society. You think the one thing you need is a village community feel. You want your children to be safe. You want people to be on the lookout for your own safety, your neighbourhood watch and things. You don't want neighbours dobbing one in and going, oh, well, you know, don't care, don't care about him, oh, fuck him and all this. It creates a very bad place to live. But that's what goes on in the minds of extremists and Marxists like Lorna Slater. Shadow Net Secretary uh, Douglas London said, this is the height of bad faith by the SNP government, which has continually undermined, undermined even, and underfunded councils with dire results. Uh, everyone wants responsible and transparent public spending, but it is the SNP government that performed a screeching U-turn to reverse their council tax rise and still can't explain where the money's coming from. SNP ministers should finally honour the Verity House agreement and start to work with councils to deliver public services that meet people's real priorities instead of issuing threats. Because that's all they have. Threat, threat, threat. If the argument was good, people would, would agree with it. And the very fact, the very fact, the moment they have to threaten, you know it's a shit idea and they have to force it through. They have to railroad it through, ram it through at the end of a bayonet almost, saying, do this or you will be punished. And that tells you quite clearly it's a rubbish idea by a stupid woman from an extremist party that's got no idea at all about anything. Sooner they're out, the better. And I think Fergus Ewing is right. These people need to go. Every opportunity we have now, every vote, every time there's a vote at all, vote against them, vote against the Greens, vote against the SNP, Get them out, they're dangerous. I'm going to stop there and I'm going to come up and we'll finish the video. Slater, Harvey, Ross Greer, all of them, they all seem to have major mental issues. They're all very, very stupid people. They're all completely at odds with reality, 
with the general feel of what people want and with the general direction of travel as well. They don't even see it because of their own sort of arrogance in their own beliefs. But that's Marxist. That's extremists. They cannot abide the thought of other people having viewpoints that are at odds with theirs. And so they just quite plainly ignore them. And then when people say no, they go, oh, 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 and I have to force it through with the threat of, you know, fines in this case. Often, often <laughs> imprisonment, violence, whoever knows, anything. They just have to force, force through because nobody would willingly subject themselves to the rules made by these complete and utter assholes. Anyway, I shall stop there. Do please hit the subscribe button. Like I say, we're, we're struggling here with, with the, the, this thing that um, YouTube does when it just randomly unsubscribes people and you see it and it drops or drops and it's not hitting the, the, the videos. It's not the videos losing, it's just like YouTube. So uh, do please check that you're still uh, subscribed. And if not, do please subscribe. Um, 60, about 35% of, of my regular viewers are subscribed and it would really, really help if you're a regular viewer and you do subscribe. Anyway, till next time, stay safe, stay well, and I will speak to you later. Bye.